Hello friends and welcome to Seattle. We are in downtown Seattle at the Staybridge Suites in South Lake Union and I just arrived. I'm going to give you a quick room tour. So the Staybridge Suites opened in 2018 and they're located on the northern end of downtown Seattle in a neighborhood called South Lake Union. The first thing I noticed when I walked in was how much at home I feel in this room. This is indeed a suite because when you first walk in, you get a really spacious kitchenette. You get a full on refrigerator with a freezer, even a toaster, a full size microwave, a stove top, even a dishwasher, and dishes. You got some pots and pans, you've got some utensils, knife, even a can opener, and a nice sink. So right off the bat, this speaks to me as a place for someone who's gonna stay here for a long time. Say a business traveler who's gonna be here for a week, or a family, or someone who again, just wants some of the comforts of home. Here we have a breakfast nook and a Mr. Coffee machine. Very important to have coffee. Over here we have a desk and a nice little couch with a footrest and a TV mounted on the wall, which is pretty fantastic. This is definitely a swivel TV, so you can watch it from bed or you can swivel it and watch it from the couch or from the desk. And speaking of the bed, here is our very spacious, comfortable looking bed and a full-size closet with not only a security lockbox, a ironing board, an iron, uh, but even a laundry basket, which is pretty crazy. I may actually do my laundry here because our laundry machine just broke at home. And then right over here, we entered the very spacious bathroom with one of my favorite attributes to a bathroom, which is a nicely lit mirror and a nice walk-in shower. And I also really appreciate this touch of just having the shower gel shampoo and conditioner already here in these big bottles rather than those travel size bottles which you almost inevitably never go through the full thing and it just generates more waste. So I really like that this soap is just built into or just comes with the whole shower. And that's really all there is to it. It again is a really cool room because it comes with this great kitchenette and oh the view. Let me show you the view. So some rooms I'm guessing are actually located you know further this way. So to our left we have Lake Union and Fremont. You can even see Gasworks Park. And further down to our right, you're gonna eventually hit the Amazon corporate campus. So if you go left, which is north, go about two and a half hours, you're gonna hit Vancouver, BC. And if you go to my right, which is south, about three hours, you're gonna hit Portland, Oregon. Right now it is five o'clock, so I have to go down and meet our host. So let's go do that and get a property tour. So this TV unfortunately is not a smart TV, but I thought it was so clever. I brought my, my fire stick, look right here. I even brought the power cable for it, but what I forgot was the remote. So this is kind of useless without a remote. Well, I happen to have one in my office. <laughs> so we just went to his office and picked up his fire stick, which actually, look at, yours is bigger. Oh, it's the 4K. Because yours is 4K, so it's actually a lot better. Now we have a 4K fire stick, <laughs> which hopefully will work with this TV, which means we can watch YouTube or Netflix or whatever and not have to watch this cable. Here we go. Okay. Yes. Sweet. Awesome. Yay, yeah, this is cool. So yes, travel with a fire stick because you can hack your entertainment system and get entertainment on the road, which is really important, especially if you're staying at somewhere like the Staybridge Suites and you're staying here for a long period of time, you definitely want your entertainment with you.
Secret Garden and it's actually a volunteer run garden and all of the produce here is made for the local food bank and it's a an area in the back end of Pike Place Market. It is actually a public space and there's a really nice view of Ferris Wheel and West Seattle and it's actually very quiet now that the viaduct has been gone. So it's a nice secret area that you might run into if you are here at the market. to tell we are here on top of the Space Needle and I have not been up here since the remodel since they reopened a couple years ago and I was actually the second public person to get up here once they opened the doors but they did a remodel so that this is all glass now and it's really thick. Down below us is the Bopop formerly known as the EMP Museum and down there is downtown Seattle. If that top floor wasn't scary enough for you, you can come down to the, I think, first floor of the two and actually stand on this glass floor. This actually used to be the Space Needle restaurant and it doesn't look like they're going to actually put a restaurant back up here because now it's just a really cool attraction. You probably don't want to come up here if you are afraid of heights. Behind that is the neighborhood of Queen Anne, which is where we used to live. We we'll probably even find our own condo back here. It's like way back there. And just beyond it is actually the cruise ship terminal, where Princess Cruises comes in from Alaska. Now there is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Seattle institution worth talking about is called the Pink Door. It's a restaurant located right next to Pike Place Market. It's basically between the market and First Avenue. There's this area called Post Alley and it's a very notable restaurant because there is indeed a pink door which leads down into it. It's actually a really big restaurant. There's a huge dining room with a stage. We'll get to that in a minute and also a bar area and even some outdoor seating and even more seating near the windows. It's a restaurant that's been around for over 30 years and they did a remodel a few years ago and that remodel was done by my construction clients so I had the honor of photographing the restaurant when they opened right after the remodel. <laughs>
So this morning we went down to the Museum of Pop Culture, also known as MoPop, and formerly known as the EMP, or the Experience Music Project. It's a really unmistakable building right below the Space Needle, and it is full of exhibits that pay tribute to pop culture. So they always have a rotating exhibit there, but there's also a permanent collection that pays tribute to music. And I think right now there's also a tribute to Prince. That actually reminded me of the time that I got to see Prince down at the showbox at the market. So right now they have a Minecraft exhibit. Minecraft is a game that I guess just started in 2009. I feel like it's been around a lot longer, but it is now owned by Microsoft and it was just full of kids having fun with it and engaging with the, with the exhibit today. And the really cool thing to me is that as a Seattle resident, I've been to the Mopop or the EMP Museum many, many times over the last decade. And every time I go, I feel like Mopop is completely different. They do a really great job of curating all of the exhibits and changing it out on a regular basis. staycation at the Staybridge Suites and I was so comfortable that I even left my room key in the room like four times and had to go downstairs and ask for new ones. I felt pretty good about it. It was only like five blocks from my work so it was very easy to get around here. I like they made it feel like a condo. That's cool. So that you have your kitchen, you have just about everything. It's a good hotel. It's almost brand new. It's one of the newest in Seattle in a very booming part of town so that wherever you do business you come here and you can do everything on foot. Exactly, yeah, you can do business on foot, but you're also pretty close to attractions. You can come and do a actual vacation or a staycation. So I've done staycations before, but they're always kind of self-led. So this was a really fun way to have other people from other parts of the state or parts of the country and see their opinion about Seattle and be able to act like a tour guide of sorts for them. And it was really cool to see my own city from that perspective. I was actually a tour guide in college a few times. Wait, I didn't know that. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. For groups of Bulgarians, yeah. I guess he's a more legit tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> See you in Tacoma.